Freedom is a sense of being whole inside ourselves, of listening to that spark inside us that knows when we feel authentic, aligned, connected to our spirit, and connected to a path of infinite possibility. Freedom is what makes us happy. It's what draws abundance into our lives. Freedom is being sovereign inside ourselves to pursue our passions, and to explore positive possibilities. Wholeness is about completeness. How many of us walk through life feeling broken or fragmented or not complete? Many of us. Wholeness is about the integration of the self. It's the marrying of the soul and the human. It's an acceptance of all parts of us into one. Purpose to me is living life connected to our spirit. When we're connected to our heart centers, we're connected to so much more. Our hearts know why we're here on the planet. They're connected to a sense of cosmic energy and an infinite sense of all knowingness that we're part of something bigger. And we each have a part to play in this world at this time. So purpose to me is our reason for being. Separation to me speaks to something called separation consciousness, which is basically a separation from our human self, from our soul self, our spirit self, the part of us that is non-physical and that is connected to the divine, to the all-knowing, organizing, pure positive force out there. When we are separated from this force, when we feel that we are not part of that force, we lose our creativity and we lose our sense of completeness and wholeness. We see ourselves as separate from ourselves, from each other, and from God or the universe. Ego. Ego and separation go hand to hand. To hand. Um, they're, they're partners in crime, I would say. The ego, to me, is, is connected to the functions of the mind. And the mind's job has been to try and help us by organizing our life, by perceiving our world around us in the world that we can see with our limited human senses. The ego often feels alone. It feels like it has to fight for its own survival. It's always looking out for us to see if it, you know, how it can protect us. And so sometimes it's on overdrive. The ego on our planet has been given a lot of freedom and a lot of power to lead our lives. And it's, but it's the ego that also is coming from a place of consciousness where it's separate. It's separate from the whole. It's separate from everything else. And most importantly, it's separate from source or the divine energy of the universe that keeps us all connected. Heart is the generator of our human body and it is absolutely the energetic connection between our soul, our spirit, and the divine. The heart is a, a center of energy in our body. We are energetic beings first and foremost, and that heart is what conducts that electricity through our body at all times. The heart is connected to feeling, it's connected to intuition, it's connected to love, and most importantly, it is our direct connection to the divine source that connects us all. Duality is a sense of living contrast in our consciousness. When we disconnected from our heart centers and we activated our ego mental minds, we fully engaged a lower consciousness inside ourselves that was based in polarity which means opposites. So duality is, is a world and is a consciousness and is an energy of contrast. If we are energy and everything is energy in the universe, then part of our purpose on this planet is to find where our energy, our soul energy aligns with what it is that we truly desire and what is ours to do and what our purpose is. When we feel aligned with someone or something 
or some concept or some behavior, we feel in sync. We feel synced up. And when we feel aligned with our divine purpose, we are aligned with source. We are aligned with spirit. And there is no greater feeling because when that energy aligns, it must come into form. Everything is energy. Everything you see in your world and in our world today is energy. People can refer to energy, frequency, and vibration, perhaps interchangeably. And it is this awareness of energy, or this awareness of vibration, or this awareness of frequency, that is truly waking up on the planet. Because when you understand that your thoughts have energy, and that, that means that your thoughts create things, we are all literally creating our world through our thoughts and thus through energy. Consciousness is about awareness, really supreme awareness, self-awareness, awareness of our triggers, awareness of our patterns, our negative and positive patterns of thinking, feeling, and behaving. It's a heightened sense of awareness. We're also, it's also awareness of our surroundings. It's an awareness of the energy in what is going on around us. It's awareness in the energy of nature, in our animals. It's an, it's an in-tuneness with what is going on around us and what our role is in the energy matrix that we live in. Meaning is a very important concept. And it's also a very important energy. You can see how all these words that we're talking about uh, co-mingle and weave together. Um, they're not separate. They're all part of the same story. So having a sense of meaning in our lives is not something that the ego can generally generate. Meaning comes from inside us. It comes from alignment. It comes from a sense deep in our soul deep in our spirit, deep in our heart centers awareness, that we're aligned with our beliefs, we're aligned with our actions, we're aligned with how we're showing up in our lives and in the world. We have a sense of meaning when we connect to a higher purpose, when we connect with a truth inside us. I believe when we listen to our heart centers and we have a properly tuned mental mind who is willing to take instructions from the heart center, that's when we achieve meaning in our lives. And anything less than that, when we're not listening to our heart centers, we have a sense of contrived meaning that is more fleeting and temporary in our lives. If we want sustained meaning, we have to listen to our heart centers on a daily basis. Our heart centers are like the medicine that our soul needs every day. And when we listen to that medicine, we find the meaning that so many seek in their lives. Engaging our heart centers is what creates the meaning. Collaboration is about working together. Collaboration is one of the key things necessary today in our spiritual awakening, spiritual enlightenment, and the spreading of light on the planet today. We must join as one in unity and collaborate. We come together, we share ideas, we get creative, and out of all that will birth greater and greater light to bring more of us together every day. Collaboration is sharing in ideas, in our creative sparks, in projects. It is a commitment to the light. It is a commitment to help people raise their consciousness, raise their awareness together in a unified way. Community is an invitation to engage our heart centers again. Community to me is the summoning or the invitation to come together in collaborative ways to grow a better light on this planet. Our egos always try and get involved because its sole job is to try and protect us and keep us safe. But the egos are not prepared to lead in this higher way now. We have to surrender the ego mind to the all-knowing wisdom of the Sacred Heart Center. 
And it is through community and calls to community that we're going to take some positive risks. We're going to learn how to listen for resonance. Am I meant to be with this particular group or this project? Or am I called to be somewhere else to participate in community? Either way, we're going to be summoned more and more to participate and co-create together. We are no longer separate beings simply trying to survive. We are cooperative, collaborative beings who need to co-create in order to thrive. Welcome. My name is Lacey Frazier, and I am so excited to talk to you today about Whole Soul School and Foundation. For the last 21 years, I've worked as a criminal psychologist in the federal prison system, helping men find their freedom and transform their lives. It is through these lessons, these teachings, and my own personal experience that I have come to know about all of the definitions and energy behind all of the words I've spoken about today. I have had the absolute privilege of working with people for the last 22 years, talking about these words, talking about their meanings, and weaving the, all of these concepts into their own spiritual awakening and into my own spiritual awakening. So we are so excited to bring to you today the concept, the idea that is coming into form called Whole Soul School and Foundation, where we will weave all of this wisdom and very important information throughout our podcasts, throughout our video interviews, throughout everything we do to help you boost your spiritual awakening journey. So come join us. So please join us. Join us at wholesoulschoolandfoundation.org. Come visit us on our website. We currently have a landing page in place. So please sign up to subscribe to our newsletter and our notifications of our offerings. We, are, we have a website that's currently under development. And we also have a YouTube channel. You can find us on YouTube at Whole Soul School and Foundation.